From 1966 to 1972, our guest today played the youngest witch on television. As Tabitha on the classic TV series Bewitched, Erin Murphy made magical mischief in the Darren and Samantha Stevens household. Erin's all grown up and looking pretty good these days, judging from the comments our male listeners left under a recent photo I posted on our Facebook page. <clears throat> She's also been pretty busy with her TV hosting and correspondence duties for TV Land, E! and Fox Reality Channel, among others. Welcome to the show, Erin Murphy. You know, I was just thinking about asking you how you got into show business, but looking at these early episodes of Bewitched, I'm assuming it must have happened the day after you were born. <laughs> well, I, I started acting probably before I had any real thoughts of my own. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in Hollywood today, there are a lot of actors running around who are grown men and grown women who don't have any thoughts of their own, so you were ahead of the <laughs> curve. Was Bewitched the very first uh, show that you worked on? Well, it's the first show I worked on. I'd done three commercials before Bewitched, including one with Ronald Reagan. Back before he was pre president, before he was governor of California, he, everyone knows, was an actor, and he was the spokesperson for Boratine Detergent. We did a commercial together. So Bewitched comes along. And by, where, where were you living at the time? Were you living somewhere in Southern California? In, in Los Angeles. Right. Yep. My, my dad owned a business college called Murphy Business College, and we lived in the penthouse upstairs. It was in North Hollywood. So at some point, I guess the word got out. There were auditions. An agent called, our agent, and um, I have a fraternal twin sister, Diane, mm -hmm. and they were only auditioning twins. So luckily we, we got the part before they realized we didn't look that much alike. But it was, it was kind of a nationwide search. They were looking in New York and a few other places because they really wanted the character to be expanded, where the focus of a lot of season three and, and onward would be on Tabitha. So I got lucky. Now, of course, you're a very, very young child, and you're working with all these uh, great actors, Agnes Moorhead. Well, I mean, aside from the regulars, there were so many great guest stars on the show. Well, so many people got their start on Bewitched. Adam West, who went on to Batman, it was his first job. Richard Dreyfus, it was his first acting job. Raquel Welch has had her first part on Bewitched. She played a flight attendant, and they only showed her from the back. They didn't even show the <laughs> best side of her. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of people like that. Melissa Sue Anderson, who went on to do uh, Little House on the Prairie, was an extra in one of those shows where she was a, a classmate of mine in a school episode. So a lot of people got their start on Bewitched. And as for the principal characters on the show, I, what was it like, you know, at, at your age, working with uh, Elizabeth Montgomery? I mean, it was, I guess, a professional relationship and then somewhat of a mother-daughter kind of relationship off screen. Oh, of course. She she was wonderful, and she was like another parent to me. She has um, three children who are right around my age, and they're still some of my closest friends. So she was a mom away from the set, and, mm -hmm. you know, she took on that motherly role on the set. We were very, very close. Now, when it comes to the character of Darren, this is a little more complicated because we've got two actors here, uh, Dick York and Dick Sargent. Now, I'm not going to ask you to choose a favorite between the two of them, but I would Good, because I won't. <laughs> <laughs> but I would think that uh, you're probably more familiar with uh, Dick Sargent. I, I would I would assume. Well, I I worked equal time with both of them. Okay. I worked three years with Dick York, three years with Dick Sargent, and I was younger, obviously, when I worked with Dick York. But he and I stayed in touch after the show. So um, he he both of them were great guys, and Dick York. I mean, he was had such poor health there for a long time, but he was just a great guy and doing good, you know, gathering mattresses for homeless shelters and doing all these things when he was on oxygen and had emphysema. But I mean, right. he was a great guy. And Dick Sargent? Dick Sargent was awesome. A lot of fun, great to work with. So we did a lot of different projects as we got older, a lot of, you know, promo things for Bewitched. And we actually talked for a while about doing a, a sequel, kind of a Bewitched remake. And he and I were never happy with the script. There were a couple of other cast members who, who really wanted to do one, and Elizabeth wanted nothing to do with one. And I always said if we could do it just right, I would. But I, I haven't seen a script that I would, you know, I've, I've wanted to do yet. Well, speaking of different iterations of the show, there was a program post-Bewitched called Tabitha. But uh, 
you weren't in it. What what happened there? Right. Well, what happened was um, a couple things. One, Bewitched wasn't canceled, so we were supposed to go on and do at least another season. And then during our hiatus, Elizabeth and her husband Bill Asher decided not to do um, the the final season. So um, there was still a demand for Bewitched, and the network, you know, wanted Bewitched, and the fans wanted Bewitched. So there was talk, and they they decided a couple years later to come up with a Tabitha series. But at the time, I was only 12, and ah. they wanted Tabitha to be in her 20s. So Lisa Hartman was hired for the Tabitha series, but she's 10 years older than I am. So there was never even a discussion, you know, that I'd be a part of it, except I was in the opening credits and, and made some money from it, but I wasn't <laughs> in the series. Would you be interested in some sort of revival of Bewitched? There's still talk. I mean, every couple of years, you know, a network tries to put something together. So there are a couple of different things. There's there was a little buzz that I don't know we might do where um, maybe doing a project where Barbara Eden, who from my dream a genie, play my mother in something to kind of do a play on, on wow. the magic both of our shows. So I mean, th- people love the classic TV shows, and there's always a desire to get the actors back out there. So I'm working on one project right now with Allison Arngrim, who is of Nellie course, Olson on Little course. House of Prairie, and a couple other, a couple you know, famous people from the past. So uh, people like seeing you know stars from shows they love. Now, over the years, you've done so many things. You've been a beautiful spokesperson and and a TV host, but. I have to mention this because it's it's so strange, and I say this with all due respect. <laughs> and you laugh because I think you know what I'm going to talk to I you about. I laugh because I don't even know which thing. Uh, My life is so diverse that you, it could be any number of things, so well, go right ahead. Well, I wanted to just tell the, the world here that not only are we speaking to Erin Murphy, who played the part of Tabitha, but she's always, now I, I have to get this right, she's also the <laughs> mistress of mayhem. <laughs> that is correct, right? That was your wrestling well, name. Yes. Yes, yes, that is correct. And I, I have to preface it by saying I did a show for CMT, the CMT Network called Hulk Hogan Celebrity Championship Wrestling. Right. And the way it was brought to me is we're doing a show like Dancing with the Stars. That's how it was brought <laughs> to my agent. <laughs> But, but the concept involved wrestling and celebrities, and they paired us with wrestlers. And, yes, I, I wrestled for a season on, on the CMT <laughs> Network. And my, my persona, the Mistress of Mayhem, I came up with myself because the initials are MOM, M-O-M. Ah. So I thought it was, kind of, it was kind of funny. But, yes, I wrestled with Dennis Rodman. He was my tag team partner. <laughs> so, oh, it was, yeah. The things you do for a little cash. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> no, to be honest, that's not true. I, I really did it for a bunch of reasons. One of them being that I'm a parent and I try to tell my kids to kind of live your life without fear and kind of try everything and, and you know, kind of, I don't know, grasp onto opportunities that come your way and, and make the best of it. So it was a lot of fun and a lot of work. I would think, yeah, you're you're taking <laughs> taking bumps, as they say in the taking wrestling bumps, business. Bumps, yes, I had bruises everywhere. It was it was an ordeal. <laughs> yeah, because I, I just just uh, briefly, I should mention, you know, there's so many people that look at wrestling and they go, "Oh, that's so fake," and it's like you have no idea how uh, hard these uh, guys work, guys and gals oh, work. Oh, it's absolutely, absolutely. I have utmost respect for wrestlers. <laughs> it's it's a sport. It was it was grueling. <laughs> now now that was some time ago. What are you working on aside from? Uh, you know, we talked about this possibility of a uh, this idea of a, of a show with uh, Barbara Eden. What else are you working on these days? There, there are a few things. I've got a bunch of things going on right now. I I just filmed a pilot with. Do you remember Jimmy McNichol? Christy of course, McNichol's brother. He's a producer now, so I'm, I'm doing a project with him that's a children's animal-based series. I'm working on the series project with Allison Arngrum. I'm doing a million different things. And also, it's it's Bewitched 50th anniversary, so I've been doing kind of a PR tour for them, and I'm hosting a marathon for Antenna TV for them. Yeah, I was going to say, it is it is sort of a big anniversary for uh, Bewitched, and I don't think the the movie that came out did all that well at the at the box office. But that that was a few it, years it ago. Did. I, it actually did. It's funny because people constantly are asking me about the movie and kind of calling it a failure. It made over a hundred million dollars, oh, and good. any way you look at it, that's a success. Yes, it, and it was a cute. It was lighthearted. It was a little romantic comedy. I I liked it just fine. I thought it was cute. You know, I have to confess, I haven't seen it. But now that uh, you're telling me that you you liked it, I'll give it a shot. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's it's Nicole, it's Nicole Kidman, Will Ferrell, Shirley MacLaine was in Dora, Steve Carell was in it. Was it was a good cast. I liked it. 
Now, I ha- I just have to mention this to the audience here because I have your your bio that was uh, sent to me, and of course your professional life. I I know quite a lot about that. Personal life, how would I know? But now I do. Six boys. Yes, I'm a mother of six boys. So that keeps me busy, and I have a ranch and raise horses and alpacas. And I'm involved with the Television Academy and the Emmys, and I do a million things. Now, with six boys, and by the way, just how old are they? Um, the youngest is 11. The oldest is 29. My good, well, you don't you don't look old enough to have a kid that's 29. I just saw a picture of you on the web. <laughs> Think it's it, I would disagree with you, but it's true. Whenever I go anywhere with him, people think either he's my date, which is crazy, <laughs> or the, my brother. <laughs> well, with six boys, I bet you wish you had magic powers at at some point. Uh, yep, I think everyone wishes that. <laughs> and and your and your husband. Now people are going to think I'm making this up, Darren. Yes. <laughs> and it so, didn't even register when he told me his name. Everyone comments on it, laughs about it, but it, nope, didn't even register with me. <laughs> Well, now, where could people go to find out uh, what you're up to? Do you have a website or a Facebook page? I or? do. I'm, I'm very, very easy to find. All you have to do is Google Aaron Murphy or Tabitha from Bewitched. I have a website. I have a Facebook page. I've, I'm on Twitter. I'm very accessible. I, I kind of like the whole new wave of social media, so I, I think it's a great way to stay in touch with people and keep them updated on what you're doing. Oh, great. I'll, I'll look you up on uh, Facebook. Uh, one last question for you here. You know, so many people have written... Uh, books about various TV shows, and I wonder if you ever thought maybe there was a book in you. I think there are probably 12 books in me. <laughs> I, def- I definitely wouldn't write a tell-all kind of book. It's just, it's not my style. Um, I'm writing a business book on crowdfunding right now, so that has nothing to do with Bewitch. Right. But um, I don't know. I mean, I, I may do one at some point, kind of like memories of the show and, and and parts of my career, but don't ever expect any salacious gossip from me. <laughs> Not my thing. But I think, as a book for young girls, Tabitha's Guide to a Magical Life. Now, I'm not going to copyright oh, that title. That. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's yours. That's a gift. Tabitha's Guide to a Magical Life. It sells to young girls. We put it in bookstores. It's twenty nine ninety five. Well, that's a little expensive. It's sixteen ninety five. It flies off the shelves, literally. Uh, well, literally, it's the magic. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Of course. It was fun. Thanks.